Hey everyone, Phil White here again, the Earth Sciences Librarian at CU. This time around, I'm going to show you the National Map interface. The National Map would be my preferred source to go to get elevation data if you need uh, DEMs or uh, topo lines, contour lines, things like that. It's also a great source for a few other things, especially the uh, National Hydrography data set, NHD, or um, watershed boundaries and things of that nature. So if you're on the geospatial data guide, you can go again to national, uh, scroll down and you can find the national map here under land co cover elevation satellite imagery. If you click this link, it will take you to this page. And I will say also, this is the interface you want. Um, if you're searching for the national map on, on the web, um, it can be a little bit hard to find, and I'll demonstrate that really quickly. So if I do the national map right here and do a search, you think, okay, here it is. Um, you might say, okay, let me click on this, and this is not the interface you want. This is kind of like just a little web GIS tool. Now, I'm not even sure what it does. Like, what does this do? It doesn't even have any features to it. So uh, that's not what you want. Um, I'm going to close this out. Um, and we'll point out, if you scroll down a little bit, you can find this use and download our data and maps. And this is the application you want, the data download app. You can click launch. That will take you here, which is the same one I had here. Okay, so um, similar to Earth Explorer, the first thing you want to do is choose an area of interest. Um, and you do that using these uh, tools right up here. You can uh, just use the map, that's too big, that's kind of everything. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in and just kind of on our area once again. Um, you could draw a box if you wanted to, uh, something like that. Uh, you could use the map um, as it is. Uh, this will work. If you, if you wanted to use just the map frame, you could use current extent and it would just choose what we're looking at. Um, I find it helpful if you know what you're looking for to just draw a box over it. So let's uh, look at the Indian Peaks here. Let's see what we can find. So um, then you can look for data sets, and they're grouped like this. I mentioned elevation products before. So 3DEP is the 3D elevation program. That's where you can go to get uh, digital elevation models. So uh, the default one that uh, it displays are these one third arc second DEMs. A third of an arc second is about 10 meters. Um, you can look at the availability and see that we have coverage across the United States with, with that product. So the one-third uh, one third arc second DEM is, is basically nationwide. One meter is available a little less. Uh, certain areas have it, certain don't. Uh, usually it's along like urban areas and like some of these like uh, highway corridors and things like that where you find those. Um, if that's your area of interest, that's awesome. You have something high resolution, that's great. Um, not that 10 meters is not good. And um, let's see. So once you've selected the data you want, uh, you just go to Find Products, and it will show you what's available within your area of interest. I can hit the Footprint button and see that. Uh, so uh, this one third arc second DEM covers a pretty large area, and my area of interest kind of uh, it's right on the boundary of two. Uh, so if you needed to, you could grab both and merge them together in ArcGIS or QGIS. Um, you can look at the thumbnail if you want to get a preview of what this thing looks like. Um, like I said in my Earth Explorer video, it's really important to, before you download anything, to take a look at the info and the metadata, just so you know what you're getting into. So right, take a look at that can see that uh, so the extent of this is one by one degree so one degree in length and uh, north south and east west if you find the resolution you can see that uh, 30 meters uh, one third arc second is about 10 meters depending on your latitude um, gives you some more info about it it will tell you things like um, the purpose behind this and the coordinate reference system and all that important stuff. Okay, this is in NAT83. So to download it, you just click download and that's it. And it will start your download. I'm going to cancel this. Um, 
let me go over a couple of other things that you could find in um, Earth Explorer. So uh, other things that are really handy, in my opinion, would be the hydrography stuff. So NHD is the National Hydrography data set. Uh, here you can go and grab uh, basically uh, all of the rivers and streams. So it gives it to you in a couple of different formats. You can either get it in a geodatabase or as a shapefile. Um, you can uh, do it by regions or subregions or by a state. Uh, these subregions are basically just uh, sort of nested areas based on watersheds. So um, the NHD Plus is really high resolution. Uh, for If you're working in a really kind of small area, large scale project, then you might get that, but mostly the, the regular NHD data set will be fine. Uh, if you click preview, it's going to show us like what we're getting. And we can see all these uh, rivers and stuff, and it also comes with like flow direction and things like that. So it's a really good data set. Um, then there's the watershed boundary data set in here as well. Uh, you could take a look at that if you want um, and get this for anywhere in the United States. So these are all the watersheds in the U.S. And um, yeah, those are available to you as well. Okay, so um, last but not least, um, let me turn those previews off. Last but not least, you can also get NAPE imagery from here, which uh, I, I covered this uh, some in my Earth Explorer video, but there's some NAPE in here as well, uh, and a few other things. Uh, but the, to me, the main things that you want to get out of here are um, are going to be the, the hydrography and the elevation products. Okay, so that's just a quick primer on using the national map. It's one of my go-to resources for uh, like landscape, physical geography data. Okay, uh, see you in this video, and I'll see you next time.